Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the prayer service from First United Methodist Church of Allen. Um, I'm opening this broadcast uh, so that we can allow folks to gather um, for our evening prayers. And so we'll just let this space be open for a few minutes until we're ready to begin. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. I see that some folks have joined us. I'm going to give it just a moment. We begin at 6.30, so we have a few more minutes before we get started. But I'm glad you're here, and uh, thanks for being here tonight. Hey, Ruth. I'm looking out a window. I have a window in this room. It's, I'm in a different room of our house this week. Um, and I'm looking out and just, it is beautiful. Big blue sky. And I know the temperatures have been just lovely today. So what a gift. Just like we do on Sundays, um, I'll be inviting you to grab a candle um, or in some other way, just really have a physical reminder of God's presence with you tonight. Um, so maybe that's uh, your Bible. Maybe that um, is some particular piece of art. Um, whatever it might be that helps you become more aware of God's presence with you, I invite you to get that tonight. And in just a moment, we will get started. We're gonna light our candle. And that's what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm not usually one who's on time. <laughs> I'm usually the person who is um, coming in the door uh, with the wind um, right at the time things are supposed to start, if not a moment or two late. But I'm looking at the clock and I want to honor your time that you have set aside to be here tonight and to pray um, with the community that's gathered. Um, so my clock's at 630, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I invite you to welcome the light and peace that Jesus Christ offers. 
I'm going to do that and remind myself of God's presence with me as I light this candle. I love that. So <clears throat> thanks be to God for this light. Let us pray. Almighty God, who is able to make all things new and to restore life anew every morning, help us to never be conformed to the world, but help us to be constantly renewed through new understanding by your grace. Amen. So I thought I would explicitly read a scripture for us this evening. And um, I'm drawing on a couple of resources for tonight's service. Um, one of them is uh, the Book of Common Prayer that a lot of our Episcopalian brothers and sisters use. And then another is um, a guide that I was given um, in honor of my baptism at a campus ministry. And it's this uh, guide to prayer for all God's people. So. Let us hear this word from scripture. I'm going to be reading uh, Psalm 66 from the uh, Common English Bible. Let us listen now for a word from God. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praises to the glory of God's name. Make glorious his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth worships you, sings praises to you, sings praises to your name. Come and see God's deeds. His works for human beings are awesome. He turned the sea into dry land so they could cross the river on foot. Right there, we rejoiced in him. God rules with power forever, keeps a good eye on the nations. So don't let the rebellious exalt themselves. All you nations bless our God. Let the sound of his praise be heard. God preserved us among the living. He didn't let our feet slip a bit, but you God have tested us. You've refined us like silver, trapped us in a net, laid burdens on our backs, let other people run right over our heads. We've been through fire and water, but you brought us out to freedom. So I'll enter your house with entirely burned offerings. I'll keep the promises I made to you, the ones my lips uttered, the ones my mouth spoke when I was in deep trouble. I will offer the best burned offerings to you along with the smoke of sacrificed rams. I will offer both bulls and goats. Come close and listen, all you who honor God. I will tell you what God has done for me. My mouth cried out to him with praise on my tongue. If I had cherished evil in my heart, my Lord would not have listened. But God definitely listened. He heard the sound of my prayer. Bless God. He didn't reject my prayer. He didn't withhold his faithful love from me. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. What I really um, appreciate about that psalm is the confidence that the writer has that God heard his prayers, that God is faithful, that even though uh, there were really hard times, God brought him through. And so I want to offer this uh, reflection from a guide to prayer for all God's people. Richard Foster writes, there is a power that destroys. There is also a power that creates. The power that creates gives life and joy and peace. It is freedom and not bondage, life and not death, transformation and not coercion. The power that creates restores relationship and gives the gift of wholeness to all. The power that creates is spiritual power, the power that proceeds from God. And so I want to offer us just a moment of silent reflection on that psalm and on that reflection to see what word God might be speaking to you tonight. So let us sit for just a moment.
So I'll bring us back to one another. And I don't know if you could hear, but the reality of this pastor's life is that this house also has my family in it. And I don't know if you could hear, but um, just a moment ago, my husband was offering some correction to our sons. So sometimes even in the midst of um, honest reflection about the nature of God and our, and what God is calling us to in this life, life is happening. So if you're finding that happening with you too, I totally understand and God understands. And if you're watching this in replay, know that you can always pause it and come back after you've done the thing, whatever the thing was that had to be done right then. It's okay. So um, we're going to continue and um, I'm going to offer some invitations to prayer. Some people call these bidding prayers. And after each, we'll have a moment of silence. You can um, use that time to pray silently or aloud where you are, or you can share your prayers in the comments um, on this post. Um, so we can lift one another up before God. I've served in lots of um, usually smaller churches where that kind of open sharing is just a part of the community's nature. And so if you want to use that to um, share what's on your heart with the folks who've gathered here tonight, you are welcome to do so. Um, and then I'll conclude each invitation with these words, Lord, in your mercy, I invite you to respond with me. Hear our prayer. So let us pray. Grant almighty God that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. From the prayers uh, shared through worship, we pray for Peggy and Gary as they travel and for Project Transformation families, volunteers, and staff. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh God, guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace that we may honor one another and serve the common good. In response to this invitation, I pray especially for those who feel called in this moment to protest and for those who have a hard time understanding why in this moment there are protests. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your glory and honor.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Prayers that have been shared with um, our prayer team include uh, how we celebrate with Larry and Melinda in the birth of their new grandson, Tobias. We celebrate with parents Cole and Bailey and grandparents Holly and Johnny on the birth of Emerson Claire. We celebrate with Red, the occasion of his 90th birthday and with Marilyn and Mike and their family as they celebrate Uncle Floyd's 98th birthday. We lift up and recognize that we are all created in God's image. Uh, for prayer, this invitation um, for all the parents and the children who have been mostly together for months now and the portion of patience that we ask God to grant us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. It's open for your prayers, friends. From our congregation, we lift up Ken's brother, Ted, Diane, Terry, Donald, and Dawn. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy, God, all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Let us pray for those we grieve and mourn.
We lift up Carol Wilson, um, her family and friends in the death of her husband, Fred Wilson. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Holy God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Almighty God, who created us in your image, grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil and to make no peace with oppression, and that we may reverently use our freedom. Help us to employ it in the maintenance of justice in our communities and among the nations, to the glory of your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear ones, uh, before I dismiss you and wish you a good night's uh, rest and, um, and all of those good things that can be done in the evening, um, I'd remind you that worship, uh, our full worship service is on Sundays at 11 a.m. on the live stream that you can access from this Facebook page, or you can head over uh, to YouTube uh, youtube.com slash F-U-M-C Allen T-X, and you can access it there as well. I know sometimes it's easier uh, to get a bigger screen with the YouTube channel. And so if you are looking for that, um, it'll be 11 a.m. this Sunday. I'm very excited as we continue to talk about the unlikely heroes that we find uh, all around us right now and in scripture. Those folks who maybe played a small part but we're a part of God's working in and through them to the glory of God and for salvation for others. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, I think that is what I would share. Invite a friend. Um, tell them about the good news that you get to hear about and that you found in and through this church. Um, I know sharing a link can be a lot easier um, than asking someone to get up early, dress up, and go to a place together. So um, we can all form that habit of going to church now. Um, and it can be as easy as rolling out of bed and being in our PJs with a cup of coffee, um, enjoying the good news together, worshiping together. So my beloved friends, um, hear this. In the gospel according to John, we hear Jesus say, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, won't walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Beloved of God, today's light may be fading, but we do not walk in darkness. Go in peace to love and serve God and one another. Amen.